here we are asked to find the surface area of the colored portions here that is this blue portion here and this pink portion here so how can we solve it let's start with this pink colored portion here how can we find its area the pink portion is this segment here let's say segment a we know that the surface area of a segment can be found using the formula area of sec 2 minus area of triangle if we equate it to segment a now area of segment a equal to area of sec 2 minus area of triangle area of sec 2 is theta over 360 pi r squared and area of triangle can be found by half r squared sine theta theta is the angle it's subtend to the center which is this angle here so what is its size we don't know but if you look here this line here is a tangent to this circle because it touches the circumference from the outside now if you draw a code from this point here to this point based on the rule of a circle that says if a code of a circle and its tangent touches through point of contact the angle the code makes with the tangent is equal to the angle the code subtends to the circumference if you look this angle here is the angle this code subtends to the circumference and this rule here implies that this angle must be equal to the angle it makes with the tangent through point of contact so that means this is also 24 degree now if you look this indicate that this line here is on the x axis and this is on the y axis an x and y axis on a directional plane are always perpendicular to each other and that implies that this angle here is a right angle now from this triangle here since we have the size of this angle here this angle and this we can label this and based on the rule that the sum of angles on a triangle is 180 degree we can sum up the angles and equate them to 180 degree so summing them up now 90 degree plus 24 degree plus 24 degree plus x equal to 180 degree 90 plus 24 plus 24 is 138 so 138 degree plus x equal to 180 degree subtracting 138 from both sides now x equal to 180 degree minus 138 degree which is 42 degree so x equal to 42 degree that is this angle x here is 42 degree so if you look here now this angle theta and this 42 degree are subtended from the same arc one to the center and one to the circumference and in the circle theory there is a rule that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference if subtended by the same arc so that implies that since this is 42 degree this angle theta must be 2 times 42 degree so we can write it out here now theta equal to 2 times 42 degree 2 times 42 degree is 84 degree so theta equal to 84 degree substituting here now area of segment a equal to 84 degree over 360 pi r squared minus 1 over 2 r squared sine 84 pi is a constant which is 22 over 7 and r is the radius so what is the radius of the circle we don't know but from this triangle here if we have the size of this angle here we can use the so-called tour to find the length of this side here since this is a right angle so what is the size of this angle a here we don't know but based on the rule of a triangle that the sum of angles must be equal to 180 degree let's sum of the angles and equate them to 180 degree once again we have here 90 degree here 24 degree plus a and here a degree so 90 degree plus 24 degree plus a plus a equal to 180 degree 90 plus 24 is 114 a plus a is 2a so 114 degree plus 2a equal to 180 degree making a the subject we subtract 114 degree from both sides and then divide both sides by the coefficient of a which is 2 so a now equal to 118 degree minus 114 all over 2 180 minus 114 is 66 66 divided by 2 is 33 so a equal to 33 degree substituting here now to look from this angle this is the opposite here the adjacent and this is the hypotenuse because it's facing the right angle now if you come here cah means cos theta equal to adjacent over hypotenuse 
theta is 33 degree adjacent is 8 centimeters so cos 33 degree equal to 8 over happiness making happiness the subject happiness equal to 8 over cos 33 degree 8 over cos 33 degree if you press your calculator is 9.53 each 9 approximately equal to 9.54 so happiness equal to 9.54 centimeters substitute here now from this triangle here if we have the size of this angle here we can use the sine rule to find the length of this side here so what is the size of the angle we don't know let's level it p but since this is 33 degree and this is 33 degree this must be 180 degree minus 33 degree minus 33 degree because the sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degree 180 minus 33 minus 33 is 114 now using the sine rule p over sine 33 degree equal to 9.54 over sine 114 making p the subject p equal to 9.54 over sine 114 degree all multiplied by sine 33 degree which if you press a calculator equal to 5.6876 approximately equal to 5.69 so p equal to 5.69 centimeters substitute here now now if you look this line here is a code of this circle and the formula for finding the length of a code of a circle is 2r sine theta over 2 so you can equate it to 5.69 theta is the angle is subtend to the center which is this angle here we don't know its size but if you look here this here is a tangent and this is a radius and we know that the angle a tangent of a circle met, makes with its radius is a right angle so that means this angle here is a right angle but recall this whole angle here is 114 degree so since this is 90 degree this must be 114 minus 90 degree which is 24 degree from this triangle here if you look since it is an isosceles triangle this must also be 24 degree now based on the rule of a triangle that the sum of angle is 180 degree we can sum up the angles and equate them to 180 degree summing up now 24 degree plus 24 degree plus theta equal to 180 degree 24 plus 24 is 48 so 48 degree plus theta equal to 180 degree subtracting 48 degree from both sides theta equal to 180 degree minus 48 degree now 180 minus 48 is 132 so theta equal to 132 degree substituting here now 2r sine 132 over 2 equal to 5.69 132 divided by 2 is 66 so 2r sine 66 equal to 5.69 making r the subject r equal to 5.69 over 2 times sine 66 degree 5.69 over 2 times sine 66 degree if you press your calculator is 3.1142 approximately equal to 3.11 so r equal to 3.11 centimeters now substituting radius equal to 3.11 centimeters here area of segment a equal to 84 degree over 360 times 5 times 3.11 squared minus 1 over 2 times 3.11 squared times sine 84 degree which if you press your calculator equal to 2.2833 approximately equal to 2.28 so area of segment A, which is this portion here, colored pink, is 2.28 cm squared approximately. Now coming back to this blue portion here, how can we find its area? This I think is simple and straightforward. From this triangle here, which we can see is a right angle triangle, if we subtract the surface area of this segment here and this triangle here, we are going to be left with the surface area of this portion here. So let's label it B, this C and this D and form an equation that area of B equal to area of right angle triangle minus area of segment C minus area of triangle D. So what is the area of this right angle triangle here? We don't know. The formula for finding the surface area of a triangle is half base times height. In a right angle triangle, any of the two sides that are perpendicular to each other can be the base or the height. So let's say this is base and this is height so what is the area of the base and the height of the triangle since it is a right angle triangle 
and we have the length of this side here and the size of this angle here we can try using the so called tool to find the base and the height so from this angle here this is the opposite because it's facing the angle directly this here the adjacent and this is the hypotenuse because it's facing the right angle so hypotenuse equal to 5.69 centimeters opposite equal to p adjacent equal to h and theta equal to 24 degree from this here SOH sin theta equal to opposite over hypotenuse and this here CAH cos theta equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Substituting these values here now, sin 24 degree equal to B over 5.69 and cos 24 degree equal to H over 5.69. Making B and H the subject of the formula in both equations, now B equal to sin 24 degree times 5.69 and h equal to cos 24 degree times 5.69 sin 24 degree times 5.69 is equal to 2.31433 approximately equal to 2.31 cos 24 degree times 5.69 is 5.1981 approximately equal to 5.2 so b equal to 2.31 centimeters and h equal to 5.2 centimeters substituting these values here now Area of right angle triangle equal to 1 over 2 times 2.31 centimeters times 5.2 centimeters, which if you press your calculator equal to 6.00 centimeters squared. So area of right angle triangle equal to 6.006 centimeters squared. We substitute it here now. Now what is the area of this segment C? The area of a segment of a circle can be calculated using the formula area of segment equal to area of sector minus area of triangle. Area of sector equal to theta over 360 per r squared. And area of triangle can be calculated by 1 over 2 r squared sine theta. Theta is the angle at the center which is this angle here. So what is its size? We don't know. But if you look here, this angle theta and this angle here are subtended by the same arc here and in the circle theory there is a rule that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference if subtended by the same arc so since this is 24 degree this theta here must be 2 times 24 degree which is 48 degree so theta equal to 48 degree substituting here now area of segment c equal to 48 degree over 360 degree by r squared minus 1 over 2 r squared sine 48 degree Pi is a constant which is 22 over 7 and R is a radius. Recall, we found the radius of the circle earlier here to be 3.11 cm. So substituting here now, area of segment C equal to 48 degree over 360 times 22 over 7 times 3.11 squared minus 1 over 2 times 3.11 squared times and 48 degree. If you press your calculator, this will be equal to 0 0.4592 which is approximately equal to 0 0.459 so area of segment c equal to 0 0.459 centimeters squared substituting here now area of b equal to 6.006 centimeters squared minus 0 0.459 centimeters squared minus area of triangle 6.006 centimeters squared minus 0 0.59 centimeters squared is 5.547 centimeters squared so area of P equal to 5.547 centimeters squared minus area of triangle D. So what is the area of triangle D? We don't know. But since we have the length of this side here, we can use the sign rule to find the length of this side here and this here. But here, we have this angle here to be 42 degree and this here to be 24 degree. Based on the property of a triangle that the sum of angle is more than 80 degree, this angle here must be 180 degree minus 42 degree minus 24 degree, which is 114. Now, if we label this A, this B, and this C, applying the sine rule, A over sine 42 degree equal to B over sine 114, which equal to C over sine 24 degree. But B equal to 5.69 centimeters. Now, taking this part of the equation now, a over sine 42 degree equal to 5.69 over sine 114. Making A the subject, A equal to 5.69 over sine 114 times sine 42 degree. 
5.69 over sine 114 times sine 42 degree if you press your calculator is 4.1677 which is approximately equal to 4.17 so a equal to 4.17 centimeters coming back to this side here 5.69 over sine 114 equal to c over sine 24 degree making c the subjects c equal to 3.69 over sine 114 all multiplied by sine 24 degree which if you press a calculator equal to 2.5334 approximately equal to 2.53 so c equal to 2.53 centimeters so we have the size of this triangle here to be a equal to 4.17 centimeters b equal to 5.69 centimeters and c equal to 2.53 centimeters approximately to find the surface area of the triangle we apply the heron's formula by heron Every length of the side of a triangle are represented by A, B, and C. The area of that triangle must be equal to square root of S open bracket S minus A open bracket S minus B open bracket S minus C, where S equal to A plus B plus C over 2. So substituting these values here now, S equal to 4.17 centimeters plus 5.69 centimeters plus 2.53 centimeters all over 2 which is 6.195 centimeters if you substitute all these values here now a equal to square root of 6.195 open bracket 6.195 minus 4.17 open bracket 6.195 minus 5.69 open bracket 6.195 minus 2.53 if we press the calculator here also equal to 4.8185 approximately equal to 4.819 so area of triangle D equal to 4.819 cm squared. Substituting it here now, area of B equal to 5.547 cm squared minus 4.819 cm squared, which is 0.728 cm squared. So we found the surface area of the blue colored portion to be 0.78 cm squared. And earlier, we found that of the pink colored portion to be 2.28 cm squared. This here is a very simple question here. They say this quadrilateral here, PQRS, is a rectangle. Find the length of this line RT if the surface area of this circle is 153.9 cm squared. And this point T here is the center of the rectangle PQRS. So how can we solve this? Since this point T here is the center of the rectangle, if we draw a line parallel to this line PS here through this point T, definitely this point T is going to bisect it. So let's label this point A and this here B. And write it out here that line AB is equal to line AT plus line BT. And line AT equal to line BT. Because this point here is bisecting it, which means dividing it into two equal half. So if you look here now, this line AT is a diameter of this circle here. Because so what is the diameter of the circle? We don't know. But since here the area of the circle is 153.9 cm squared, we know that the formula for finding the area of a circle with respect to its diameter is pi d square over 4. So let's equate pi d square over 4 to 153.9 cm squared. Now pi d square over 4 equal to 153.9. To make the subject, we multiply both sides by 4, divide both sides by pi, and then find the square root of both sides. Now, square root of pi d squared over 4 times 4 times 1 over pi is equal to square root of 453.9 times 4 times 1 over pi. Here, this 4 cancels this 4, and this pi here cancels this pi. Now, I left with square root of d squared, and square root of d squared is d, because d squared is d times d. So coming back here, 153.9 times 4 times 1 over pi, if you press your calculator, is 195.9516. Square root of 195.9516 is 13.9983, approximately equal to 14. So diameter equal to 14 centimeters squared. And that implies that this line 80 here is 14 centimeters in length. But recall here, we establish that line 80 equal to line BT. So that means this is also 14 centimeters in length. Now if you look, since this side here is parallel to this side of the rectangle, 
it must also be parallel to this side as well because opposite side of a rectangle are parallel and equal in length and that implies also that this and this side here must also be equal in length with this side here so since this is 14 centimeters plus 14 centimeters which is 28 centimeters this and this must also be now if you come back here turn a line also parallel to this line pq from this point here down here to this point if you look the line we just drawn is also a diameter because it is perpendicular to this two tangent here and we have the diameter here to be 14 centimeters so therefore this line is also 14 centimeters here also since this parallel to this and this here they must also be equal in length so this and this here are 14 centimeters each as well but recall this here is parallel to this and it touches the center that means this point b here is the center of line rs and since line rs is 14 centimeters this must be 14 centimeters over 2 which is 7 centimeters now from this right since this is a right angle triangle because this here is a right angle we use the pythagorean theorem the pythagorean theorem states that the square of the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the two other sides the hypotenuse is the side opposite to the right angle so this here is the hypotenuse now applying the pythagorean theorem hypotenuse square equal to 14 square plus 7 squared but hypotenuse is line rt so line rt squared equal to 14 square plus 7 squared 14 square is 196 7 squared is 49 196 plus 49 is 245 so line rt squared is equal to 245 if you find the square root of both sides now square root of line rt square equal to square root of 245 here square root of line rt squared is line rt and here square root of 245 is 15.65 so line rt equal to 15.65 centimeters so we'll find the length of line rt to be 15.65 centimeters coming back to the surface area of this rectangle here pqrs the formula for finding the area of a rectangle is length times breadth from here we can say l equal to 14 centimeters and b equal to 28 centimeters so substituting now area of pqrs equal to 14 centimeters times 28 centimeters which equal to 392 so we'll find the area of pqrs to be 392 centimeters squared thank you for watching please subscribe to this channel also click the notification button to get notified when we post a new video thank you